And new tonight at 10, Pritchard residents are sick of the potholes plaguing their streets. Some of the potholes have gotten so bad they're almost eight inches deep. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski joins us now. Laura, you know firsthand just how deep some of those dangerous craters are. I do, Greg. It's become a really dangerous situation, specifically on McGee Avenue. Residents are hoping for a complete street reconstruction so they don't have any more accidents. Pritchard has a pothole problem. This is McGee Avenue, where Latangela McCarty has seen hundreds of cars lose hubcaps, tires, and bumpers to more than a dozen potholes on one block. This street haven't been paid in 30 years. McCarty and her neighbors say they have been pleading with the city for years to fix their streets. They ain't doing with a job. I'm sick of it. I want them to fix Pritchard up. McCarty even put one of her own trash cans in one of the potholes to stop people from driving through it. I didn't have nothing to have flashers on it or anything like you post to have when you got a hazard. She also spends a little bit of her time directing traffic, hoping she can help people avoid an accident. I just wave my hand, tell them, don't go that way, go that way, go that way, don't go that way. No, no, you're going to fall in. <laughs> they have to go on the side of the road. You see how we made a new road right there. Drivers dodge the potholes as best as they can. But sometimes they can't and end up hitting the potholes, which Manika Watson says cause major damage. I told my whole front end in my truck, the whole front end I had to buy another. That's my truck right now. That's another truck I bought. I want to show you just how deep these potholes are. I have my rain boots on so I can step into this one. Neighbors call the swimming pool. It is about seven inches at its deepest point. I fell in your swimming pool. I say, yes, that's right. We have a swimming pool. McCarty says she's seen city crews patch the potholes, but it never lasts, and they want a long-term solution. If they put the little asphalt in them, and that's all they do. When it rains, it wallows out, and it got a bigger one. I spoke with officials at the city of Pritchard who say they're currently working on a solution to the problem, and I plan to check back in with them soon to see what's going to be done. Greg?